everybody, it's your boy Titanic Feet Jack, and I'm back at you again with another video. I'd like to welcome you guys back to the channel. If you'd like to continue to follow me along this journey as I build my sneaker collection, there's this to my socials right there on the screen. Also, I need a favor. I need you to hit that like button, leave a comment on today's video, let me know your thoughts on the sneaker we take a look at. And also, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and you'd like to become part of the family. Now today we're going to take a look at a sneaker. It's an early review. It's a retro of a sneaker that came out a long time ago. I believe this sneaker came out back in the, uh, back in the year of 2003. So this is a retro of a sneaker. It was highly coveted back then. Not sure about today because I'm not hearing any buzz about this sneaker and I've never seen a video on it as of yet. So I may be the first to have a full video on this sneaker. But let's get into it. Here we go. Comes in a regular Nike box, orange box, white lettering. Let's go ahead and read the box label. It says Nike Air Max 1 PRM. I believe that PRM stands for premium. Color of mineral slate, deep raw your blue. Size 14 person a pair. Uh, I believe the retail on these should be about 150, 160. And here we go, we have a blue lot stamp right there. You got your little sale color tissue paper right here. Got that YDM sticker in here, that green YDM sticker, and we also have a gold sticker right here. That's the box. Let's bring on the sneakers. Yes, guys, we have the Nike Air Max 1 Premium, the Dirty Denim. As you can see, it's living up to its nickname from the 2003 release. See, they was going for a, I don't know, like a distress type look or an age type look, so to speak. Because you can see you got that, uh, you got the washed denim material on here and you got the age worn out suede, as you can see. You got a lot of denim on here, right here, and some washed out suede. He's going for a vintage type sneaker. You got that lemon wash going on here as well. But let's get into the uh, the review. You got a royal blue uh, Nike swoosh on here. The swoosh is like a smooth leather or a nice little nubuck material. You have the brown thread, just like on a pair of blue jeans throughout the entire sneaker. You have a white Nike swoosh right there by that pinky toe. You have sail color eyelid hits right here. Midsole, sail color midsole, clear bubble. And you have that sail inside. You got a hit of that peanut butter colorway at the very bottom, which leads to the outsole. Actually, this is a darker color than peanut butter. It's almost like the uh, Biscoff cookies that you'll get on the flight if you fly Delta, if y'all flew Delta, you know what I'm talking about. Some good cookies, if you know what I'm saying. But this is the outsole. This is a very typical Air Max 1 outsole. And if you look closely, it has some sprinkles in here. Look like it made from some of that recyclable material. And you can see Nike and Air right here at the heel of the sneaker. 
Then we're gonna take a look at the back of the sneaker. You have Nike Air with the swoosh embroidered on the back. And take a look at that medial side. You have a swoosh just like you had on the lateral side. More of that jean denim material. And then you got like a another jean material right here. This one is not as thick. The one over here is comparable to a pair of jeans. And the run right here is more of a smooth pair of jeans, if that makes sense. You have it again around your eyelid to the top. Seal color midsole, clear air bubble with the seal color inside and that Biscoff color to the very bottom. Be a closer look at the toe box. Look at the motion, the brush bag motion on this sneaker. Comes with one set of flat laces, these like this t shirt type laces in the sale colorway. You have a, a raw or deep raw your blue lace eyelet right there, and you also have a deep raw your blue woven patch on here with Nike Air Max on here, and you got that deep raw your blue trim on top. Come stuff with this tissue paper. Also, this is a look at the insert. This is what your insert is going to look at with these sneakers. Nice material. Be raw your blue again. See Nike Air with the size and stick on here. And this is what it looks like on the back side. This is what your insole should look like. And on the side, side 14, 15. This is the size insole that fits inside of the sneaker. You have a, a deep raw your blue sock liner. It's like a satin material. Let's see, can I get you guys a look at that sizing tag? Here we go right there. US size 14. Production date. February 16th of this year to April 13th of this year. So only just under two months of production with these guys. So are you gonna go for these when these come out? I believe these come out this week. I think like Wednesday or Thursday, one of those days. But this is a nice sneaker to add to the collection. If you were into Air Maxes back in 2003, you will remember this was a highly coveted sneaker. And I'm shocked that Nike brought it back. Maybe Air Max enthusiasts were asking to bring this back because they kind of washed this part of the leather in like a lemon type wash. That's why it almost looked like uh, someone urinated on the denim. And that seems like to be stained in this part of the sneaker. But uh, I like the sneaker. Nice sneaker to add to the collection. But let me know what y'all think about the sneaker. And like I always tell y'all, if you can help somebody get a sneaker, help them get that sneaker. Because you never know when it will be your turn to need help getting the sneaker. I'm Titanic Feet Jack, signing out.